The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> do, do, do. Yes, sir. Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Blow it out your ass, Scotty. All right, I will. All right. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woo! Uh, just watch your fucking tone, Scotty. I'm already in a bad mood. Well, why are you in a bad mood? All right. So I want to level with – I had to level with everybody at work today. Um, I hit the Powerball. Oh, you did? Yeah, that was the only number I hit. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, with the way the economy is, yeah. uh, and every $2 just doesn't go as far as it used to. Right. So I had to announce that I will be returning to work for the foreseeable future. <laughs> okay, fair so enough. So I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. You, you shouldn't have burned those bridges yeah. <laughs> when you bought that ticket. I should not have took a dump on the boss's keyboard. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, especially while he was typing. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I just felt confident, you know? Okay. Did you spread your cheeks and ask him if you got it all? Oh, absolutely, I did. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's a great callback. Oh, man. Well, welcome into another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Guys, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. Plus, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you, Ed. Goodbye. Whew. All right. Well, we've got a great show. Let me tell you what. I don't think we do. I mm. think we really... We're going to make sure it's not. Oh, yeah. okay. Are you, you're here, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, mm. and I think mediocre tops yeah. at best. Yeah. We've got a lot of stuff. Only if you <laughs> shut the fuck up now. <laughs> we have right. a meh show. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take it, the meh. All right. Uh, we got sports news. We got real shit or horse shit. We do not have bad advice this week. We have questions and preguntas. You know, and then uh, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to that stuff, we're going to talk about what ha happened to us over the last week. So, Derek. Yep. What'd you do, buddy? Watched a lot of sports. Oh, I yeah? Haven't, I haven't gotten to do that, it seems like, at all this year, outside of, of course, doing all the baseball games. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't got so I watched <laughs> the World Series, which sucked. That sucked. Uh, yeah. I'm tired of everybody congratulating Baker. We'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I watched that. I watched the Illini football game. I watched the Illini basketball game. I watched the Bears. That was exciting. Uh, and then today, uh, it was a very great day. It was election day. I've been busy all day voting multiple times. <laughs> so I, I have been all over town. Mustache, no mustache, shaved my beard, put it back on, blackface, you name it. Yeah. Done it all. For so, sure. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And then I watched, uh, I did watch something. I know Jeremy's always the movie critic, but uh, yeah. I watched that Weird Al movie. Oh, did you? Yeah. With Danny Radcliffe. Yes. Yeah. Don't. No, really? <laughs> no, no. Uh, that bad? Yeah, you. I liked UHF when he made that, like back in the eighties, right? And early nineties. That was this was just awful. It was like a, it was a parody, kind of like a parody biography. Obviously, yeah. When people started taking artistic <laughs> license with their own biopics, yeah. Weird Al was like, I'm going to take that to the next level. I haven't seen it, but Big I've heard about that fucking time, and right. it was just. Boy, it was tough to get through. Really? Yes. 
So Weird Al owes me a couple hours. That's, yeah. <laughs> this is the first review I've actually heard about it. I, I had been thinking about watching it. What? Where's it at? Where can you find it? Roku. That's it. <laughs> That's it? It's, you can't find it anywhere else. I had to download the Roku channel. I downloaded it on my Amazon Fire Stick. That's a cha- Okay, I was going to say, I thought that was a, like a device or, or Roku, something. Roku, yeah, it is. It's like Roku TV or Roku channel, and I downloaded that, and then I searched for Weird Al and found it. Okay. It's the only thing it's on. Huh. Wow. And then I also learned the uh, the ultimate fucking sports hack that apparently I'm the only a- asshole that didn't know this. Okay. So I'm at work yesterday, and one of the bosses at one of the other places messages, we're talking on Teams, and uh, yeah. he tells me, he goes, man, uh, he went to the Chiefs game, and I was like, I thought you were a Denver fan, because he went to the Denver game like a month ago and was like two rows up from the 50-yard line. Yeah. And he goes, no, I just go there because his family has season tickets, and he shows me pictures from his seats in the Chief, at the Chiefs game, and they're like fucking eight rows up. I mean, he's got from pictures. the field. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've got. He sends me pictures. I mean, I can see Mahomes' stupid fucking face and everything. Which Mahomes? And all of them. Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had pictures of the the cunt and the dipshit, and then oh. Patrick. And right. uh, yeah, you could see all of them like plain as day. And I'm like, first or Fuck. second? Huh? Was the first or second? First, or second what? Patrick Mahomes. Oh, the 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 second. Okay. Yeah, the first wasn't there. Don't care for the old man. Yeah. yeah. Um, fuck that guy. So I'm like, how the fuck did you score those tickets? You know, and he's like, because I know his salary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he goes, uh, he goes, I didn't. And I go, huh? And he goes, yeah, you just go on to uh, StubHub. And I'm like, okay. He goes, you you buy the cheapest nosebleed seat you can find. Uh-huh. And then just find the seats that are still for sale after kickoff that nobody's sitting in because they're for sale. And then just go sit in those. <laughs> and I go, shut the fuck up. Wow. And he goes, yeah, I go, that works. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I sat even closer for the Steelers playoff game last year. Damn. Jesus. And I go, Jesus Christ. I said, they don't check your ticket. He goes, you just got to own it, man. You got to yeah. act like you belong. That is the secret to getting away with a lot of shit. Oh, my <laughs> If you fuck act God. like you're supposed to be there. Yeah. 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 And there's a TikTok guy, uh, the two guys with a ladder and yes. the vests. Yes. That's the best. <laughs> you can get into any place yeah. carrying a ladder. Ladder or clipboard. Clipboard will get you into a lot of places. <laughs> but that totally fucking worked. I could not believe it. And then I text my buddy, Brian. I said, man. I just heard the ultimate sports hack. He goes, I think you're going to say something smart ass. And I said, no. And I told him the story. And he just goes, we're fucking stupid. And I go, yeah. <laughs> now, I did one time many, many years ago at a Royals game when they were absolutely atrocious. This was back in the late 90s, and I was by myself. And I went. I wanted really good seats. It was my first Royals game in forever. And so I went, and I wanted, like, seats behind the the home plate mm-hmm. and they were like 45 bucks at the time and i said I'll, I'll take one of those in that section she the lady at the ticket counter just goes oh i'm not gonna do that to you <laughs> i'll sell you a cheaper ticket and you can just go down there <laughs> <laughs> there was like 300 people in the stadium i can't believe i'm surprised like if a movie if they only have sell so many tickets they just won't show the movie and they'll give you a free pass for later i'm surprised they didn't do this <laughs> at Kauffman stadium I did also get uh, a new koozie. So I see that. That's pretty cool. I was pretty excited about that from yeah. your good friend, uh, Robert. Yeah, the Robert Kenny. Guy. Yeah. Yep. So. He's a good dude. Thank you much. Uh huh. He told me to bring that on the show. He said you thought you'd love it. I got one for you. No free yeah. rides, dude. Yeah. What's he paying you in advertising costs? 150 bucks, and Scotty owes me a handy. <laughs> nice. He was going to do it anyway. Right. So. Uh, all right. That was your week. That's my week, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! I've I've got a. It, it was a week weekend. It was a absolute fucking crazy whole situation. Cool, I, Jeremy. Uh, how was your week? Yeah, uh, better than that. I can tell you that. So over the weekend, we have a couple of friends that live down in Austin, Texas. So uh, we elected to uh, obviously go to the to the wedding. Um, it's my wife's best friend, so uh, she was in our wedding, and so naturally we were not in uh, you know in theirs. But uh, they were they invited. That's perfect. Us. That's yes. the best gift you could have. Right. Exactly. Yeah. What that's what I want to do is rent a fucking tux. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, but anyway, so we took the um, the adventure. Uh, what was it? I think it was a Friday. Yeah, Friday morning. We left to uh, go to Austin, Texas. We get south of Norman, uh, maybe about 15, 20 miles. Bates? Uh, no. 
No, uh, I don't know another Norman <laughs> McDonald. Norman Bates. Yeah, McDonald. Norman Bates. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, what so about Norman Bates from Psycho 2? Okay. Ooh. That's fine. Totally different Norman Bates. Yeah. 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 Uh, but or the get... remake of Psycho, that Norman Bates. Yeah. Mm. South of Norman, that Oklahoma. Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, yeah. South of Norman, Oklahoma, and there what is... the original Norman God Bates? damn it. it. I, you know, I don't know. I know that movie sucks. <laughs> 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 and the only thing worse is the fucking remake. Right. God damn it. Yep. That's going to drive me nuts now. Yep. Go ahead and look it up. Yeah. The, go, no, go ahead and look it up, and then I can fucking yeah, continue. Pause the like, show. Yeah, stop. pause the <laughs> show, and then you look up your stupid Anthony bullshit. Anthony Perkins? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Of course. Anyway, so that. 20 minutes. Tony P. <laughs> Fuck, you guys suck. Perkins is a restaurant my grandmother used to take me to all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> What'd you get there? Uh, pie. Yeah. Obvious. Cool. Yeah. And chicken fingers. You know, I'm a kid. Sure. So. Yeah. Anyways... There is How much that run back then? <laughs> God, you know, I think that's probably... I bet, I, I bet we got out of there for about eight or nine bucks for my meal. Stop with it. With the pie. Stop it. Wow. But this Stop is it. In, you know, Scotty, could you shut the fuck up? We're talking chicken fingers and pie here. <laughs> the cool thing was they had a wishing well whenever you got done. Yeah. Kiss and tell? No, no kiss okay. and tell. Okay. It was a hole in the bathroom. Oh. And, uh, no, they, it was like a little little well, and you got reached in, you got like a little toy or something. All you got, you're um, doing is making oh. a week, week recap last ten times longer than it has to. We have to make this a mediocre show somehow, okay. Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So uh, go ahead, just drag us down. Yeah, Norman, nor, south of Norman, there was an accident that was bad enough. It was It's a it's a two-lane highway. So What kind of toys in that wishing well? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> to the point they where it cars. stopped both... Wait lanes of traffic going southbound what did so we were at a complete stop <laughs> there was a it was a two vehicle accident both of them rolled over and we were stopped for basically an hour and weren't able to move if one guy gets really mad at another guy and slams into him do they call that a purpose yeah it's definitely not, not on an purpose accident. it's not yeah. an accident it's a anymore. purpose it's a purpose yeah uh, that, or you vehicular know, uh, manslaughter or something like that you know, since you were stopped anyway, you know, where a great place to kill some time would have been Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got a wishing well, from what I understand. <laughs> right. Chicken fingers and pie for eight, <laughs> nine bucks. They <laughs> got a great wishing well, too. Uh, oh. But anyways. Kind of wishing well. Is it <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so after finally after we get through that fucking two lanes stopped, um, it rains the rest of the way all the way to Austin, Texas. The entire fucking time. And it wasn't just rain. It was like a torrential downpour to where you did not have good visibility at all you you could not see anything in front of you people were actually pulled over on the side of the road on the highway and and had their hazards going people were driving with their fucking hazards on because it was such low visibility because they're such poor drivers right <laughs> <laughs> i was getting just there. warning you now <laughs> austin texas thank you so much but you guys all fucking suck at driving uh, but anyway, so we go down there. Uh, we finally get down. There. It was, should have been like a seven and a half hour How drive. How long is this story? I'm, t- I'm telling you, you were, you were making this harder on yourself. No. Anyways, it was supposed to be a seven and a half hour drive. We ended up making it in 11 and a half hours because of the delay and the stop and then also the rain. Ironically, this story is longer than the drive. And I'm going sure to keep on I'm gonna keep on going and making it really awkward if you don't so shut the what, fuck up. What time did you leave? I left at seven o'clock in the morning. In the a.m. Central the Standard Time? Central Standard Time. Okay. Yeah. You know, we turned those clocks ahead. Yeah. Actually, you would have left in central way daylight yeah. and come back right. in central. Anyways. Uh, anyway, so Saturday morning, we don't have the, – the wedding is at 6 p.m. So Saturday morning, my wife goes, hey, let's go down downtown Austin and uh, have like a beer and watch football. I'm like, fuck, yeah, that's why I married you. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. So we go to a, go downtown uh, – <coughs> excuse me. Uh, end up having I a coughed. couple – I know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> God damn <laughs> You're a ventriloquist. I did. I threw my voice. Son of a bitch. Yeah. You are excused <laughs> yeah. for that. Do it while drinking water. Yeah. Right. But it was a really cool bar. It was it was really, really neat. Uh, and then we were getting ready to leave, and she goes, man, I kind of want a cup of coffee. I said, okay, well, naturally, there's a place right next door. Naturally. Right. Was it Duncan? <clears throat> oh, no. It gets no. way worse. So as we're walking over there, I didn't really notice until we were getting ready to go inside, but the stairs were painted in rainbow colors. Not to mention, they also have a nice pride flag sticking out at the very top of the coffee house. Mm -hmm. They were ready for you. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And it doesn't really bother me, but I go in there, and there's obviously not a single straight person in there except for me and my wife. 
um, which is fine. I don't care. Um, but what do you mean aside was, from you? <clears throat> yeah. You thanks. don't get to put yourself in the straight category. Right. Uh, I noticed that behind the bar, they have a humidor, like a walk-in humidor. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to go get a cigar so I can smoke it at the wedding. Well, as I come out of the humidor with my cigar, I am standing face to face with a six foot seven drag queen who's wearing heels and they are not small by any means. Six, seven in the heels or out of the heels? Out of the heels, six foot seven. This was, I mean, they were huge. Got to be over seven feet tall with the heels. It was ridiculous. Did she pick you up like a little teddy bear? (laughs) Very easily could have. Not even kidding. Um, But I was in this awkward like situation of not knowing what to say. And so I have this cigar and I'm just, and and I can tell that they obviously work there as well because they're going around like getting their microphones and I didn't really dust in the ceiling fans. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. Yeah. No, um, apparently we're, we're, uh, there at the coffee shop or whatever, maybe 20 minutes before, before they start to put on a drag show. And, uh, so when I walk out with my cigar, I say, Hey, do you, uh, pay for this like back here? Or do you have to go to the front counter? And I, t- it was the deepest fucking voice ever front counter. And I'm like, okay, God damn it. But she could have definitely just ate me alive. I think maybe you have invented actually some new slang. When somebody comes out as gay, instead of coming out of the closet, they come out of the human. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> yeah. You, um, you fuck that shit? No. No? Absolutely not. That shit fuck you? I guess seven foot. <laughs> could, yeah. Very easily could have. Could let's, have let's, held, ask, let's ask held her. me down. <laughs> Are you sure that was a cigar and not a dildo? <laughs> very positive. That's right. Wasn't. You know dildo's probably better than anybody. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, we ended up going to the wedding, had an excellent uh, ceremony, at to which point we were watching the World Series with the groom and all of the other people that were there. Oh, at Jesus. My phone. I bet that was rocking. In Austin, Texas, apparently there's a lot of Houston Astros fans. Mm-hmm. So, uh, not too far. And, he, and the groom was or is an Astros fan. So he got what he wanted. I did not. Uh, this this yeah. was a nighttime wedding? It was, yeah. How are the stars? Be a, oh, they're pretty. Big and bright? Yeah. It's, um, I mean, you know. You were lone, deep in the heart of Texas. I was deep in the heart of Texas. It was Lone Star State, or Lone Star State, man. Yeah. Yeah, so why do they say stars if there's know. just one? It's just one. It's just the one, you know? It is big and bright. Though. It is, though. Uh, no, I had a great, tri- great trip and made it back in seven and a half hours. So uh, the, the trip home was significantly better than the one on the way. So that was. Uh, Did you take any time to mess with Texas? At all. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Uh, Did you run into any of my exes? No, and I know they all live there. They do. Yeah, so. They do. I, uh, how, no. how big was stuff down there? It was pretty big. Yeah, yeah bigger, bigger than here, you think? Oh, definitely. Way bigger. Was, what about uh, it? Compare it. Yeah. I went was to. It, I went better. Yeah, I yeah, went to, yeah. Our drag queens are like five ten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is true. <laughs> yeah, five I went ten to, to six two. I went yeah. to Busey's for the first time. Gary Busey's. No. Well, then I don't give a shit what Busey's is. The yeah. big, uh, the big, huge like Jake uh, Busey's. No, it's Bucky's. Oh, on the way, on the way down because that's where you know, they, they'll shoot you for saying call. I know, the they, I know they will. Yeah, uh, but no, Bucky's is like that's very the equivalent well of messing with Texas. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is because that's the only place I think where they're at. I think they're I, only in like the South. I guess I don't know what this is. You've never heard of Bucky's? Why would I? Oh, dude, it's a big deal. It's not only a gas station. Apparently it's, it's not a, that big a deal because I'm a yeah. big fucking deal and I've never heard of it. It's a gas station the size of a fucking Walmart and all they have is just like snack foods and jerky and like they have hundreds of different kinds of jerky. It's Oddly awesome. enough, no gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they got, they got plenty of gas. Uh, but no, I, I, Premium? Yes. So Derek can go there? Yes. Oh, right. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. They must not have Bucky's in there? Oklahoma. Did I shit there? Yeah. No. Why not? I didn't know. You got to. to. I wonder how big those bathrooms are. Probably huge. Yeah. Bet you could dribble a basketball in the stalls. I'm guaranteeing you can, especially in the handicap stall. That's you're the only putting one you... your guarantee on yeah, that. You're yeah. you're gonna stand behind that. Actually, I'm gonna stand in the handicap stall. You can I probably get like, you can probably get like three or four wheelchairs in that stall. Like probably. That. Yeah. 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 Like Every stall piece. is a handicap stall. They're just bigger right. and better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, they got a handicap urinals. Oh yeah, do yeah. they? Oh yeah. I I wanna see that happen. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, but that was my week and weekend. How about you, Jeremy? All right, we heard how Scotty's month was. How about you, Jeremy? How yeah. about me? Yeah. Um, I, I can tell you this. There's a, there's going to be a pilot somewhere getting in big trouble. Uh, there was some guy, I'm guessing, in a military jet flew over Wichita today, made a fucking sonic boom. Oh. Those are outlawed. Oh. Uh, I did o- not over hear about civilian this. territories. You should have heard the boom. Uh, and here we can't shoot anything over six feet. N- no shit. <laughs> Why can't I fire my pistols in the air? 
<laughs> I'm celebrating, God damn it. Snakes and sparklers. That's it. That's, that's all we're allowed. That's all we got. Uh, I also played Powerball. Uh, I bought $20 worth of tickets Ooh. and did something more impressive, I think, than winning. Uh, didn't hit a single fucking number. <laughs> On 10 tickets, I didn't hit a single fucking number. Mathematical odds say you're going to hit at least one on 10 tickets? Yeah. Yeah, didn't. No. <laughs> didn't. Not the Powerball, nothing. And so that was fucked up. Um, and then it, it's this weird convoluted story as to how it all wound up happening. But there was this small family get-together on Saturday. And uh, my mom winds up calling me last minute. I wasn't planning to be there. Uh, but I live in the same town as my great aunt Eugenia, and my mom. How did that me. not make the goddamn no list? Oh shit, Eugenia! Eugenia, that yeah. should have made the list. No kidding. Oh, I love that name now. Um, <laughs> oh god. So my mom calls me up and she goes, "I know this is very last minute. I don't know if it's even possible, but is there any way that you can pick Aunt Eugenia up and bring her?" Now I haven't seen Aunt Eugenia in. 10 years and she's 94 years old <laughs> <laughs> so you probably did have to actually pick her up to put her in the car no oh that's really? that's just the amazing thing i was so dreading this it, it was such special circumstances and my mom so wanted this to happen that i was like yeah yeah i guess i wasn't gonna expose my wife to this i just was like honey you can stay home i'll go i'll take her you know it's an hour there and an hour back and I was so dreading it. And she was absolutely fucking delightful. Really? She, it was the neatest fucking thing. I went to pick her up and I went around to the passenger side to help her into the car. And she goes, oh, that's okay. I got it. She flings the door open. She grabs a hold of the oh shit handle. We're driving my wife's SUV and just throws herself up in the passenger seat and closes the door behind her. This woman is totally with it. We're talking on the way there. She knew my mom's birthday, my aunt's birthday, all of my cousin's birthdays and my birthday. I mean, she is still with it at 94. Now, I don't want to live to be 94, but if I ever do, I hope like hell that I'm still that with it. Is wow. that all you did the it's, whole way down there? Just quiz her on birthdays? No, she just started talking and I was like, fuck, I don't want to sit here and shit eat in silence and yeah. it was either turn the radio way up or just talk about whatever she wanted to talk about and turned out what she talked about was birth family history no that took two minutes oh but yeah it was we just had a really nice conversation and she was incredibly pleasant i was expecting like uh oh what's the f Aunt edna from vacation <laughs> oh yeah and no she <clears throat> was just an absolute delight That's so great. that wound up being a very good uh very good experience so that was basically about all I did of, of any note this week. Uh, I do need to address some shit. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, don't know uh, I kind of want to just let it ride, Jeremy. I, I wish I could. I feel too damn guilty about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. People don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I announced that I was quitting the show. Uh, I have a health issue. <laughs> Minor health issue. <laughs> Restless leg syndrome. I, <laughs> yeah. I wish it was that major, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it is not. Um, I got all these well wishes and, you know, people saying, you know, it sucks that he's leaving, but, you know, we're all praying for, for his health and, and all that. Or he's, you know, glad he's, he's taking time to focus on his own health. I did not say that I'm taking time away to focus on my health. I said I have a health condition that makes it hard to do the show to the level that I would like to do. Hang on, hang on, Jeremy. Uh -huh. Before you come out with this, I've ordered like 5,000 Jeremy Strong bracelets. Yeah. And they're going for 10 bucks a pop right now. So. Have, have you seen me lately? Jeremy is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is so strong. I'm just saying, you coming out with this, I mean, it's really going to fuck my Don't make me take my shirt off and start flexing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, so normally when somebody says they have a health condition, that means they don't want to go into fucking details. But because I feel guilty about all the people worried about me, <laughs> uh, I will just come out and say, what I have is a, a moderately severe case of attention deficit disorder. Uh, I've had it my entire life. It's nothing new. Uh, this is not like the little kid who won't 
behave in class kind of ADHD. This is actual diagnosed, legitimate attention deficit disorder. It's a neurological disorder. And so squirrel. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I am. I, for many years now, I've kept it very well under control with medication, but about a year and a half ago, the medication I was taking stopped being as effective. And so I, my doctor put me on a different medication, which works very well. But unlike the old shit where I was taking it intermittently throughout the day, this shit, I take it once a day at the beginning of the day. And unfortunately, about the time we start recording this podcast, it starts wearing off. <laughs> and suddenly my brain that is normally very focused and sharp and quick witted becomes very cloudy and sluggish and I, I can't stay focused. I'm easily distracted. And my memory recall is shit at that point. I couldn't even remember Perkins, Anthony Perkins, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, but so, you remember the wishing well. Right. Yeah. Now, so the, the issue with that is that it, you know, doing this show, I have to use all of my energy and focus to stay on what we're talking about and to be funny, which is not only draining and exhausting but more importantly it's frustrating as fuck because something that normally is pretty effortless for me now it's like somebody trying to run through wet cement with their shoelaces tied together that's what it feels like in my brain trying to be quick-witted and funny mm -hmm. and that frustration unfortunately mounts up week to week to week and i know how my brain handles frustration and if I keep going, that frustration will outweigh the fun of this, which is why I do it in the first place. Yeah. And I will grow to hate doing this show. I want to look back on this with fond memories. I want to look back on this four-year period and be proud of what we've done and think of it as a good time rather than something that I resent. And I know that through no fault of your own guys, I will grow to resent <clears throat> you because you also represent that thing that I that frustrates me so much. And I will resent our listeners, which they don't deserve that. And Derek doesn't deserve that. And <laughs> me on the other hand, totally it fucking, totally do. fucking deserve that. <laughs> so, so that I can keep from that happening. That's why I'm leaving the show. And that's why I will still come back from time to time sporadically, but I, I yeah. just cannot continue to do it week to week because I will become an even more bitter old bastard than yeah. what I am now. Uh, to address some of the concerns that people have, <laughs> I do not have cancer, okay? The, the weight loss has come through pure diet and exercise. The hair loss is natural. Um, <laughs> he, he does not have MS. I, no, uh, I do not have Parkinson's. <laughs> Parkinson's was my favorite. Or ALS. Uh, <laughs> when you see me twitching, part of that is I'm naturally fidgety because of, of the ADD. ADD. Yeah. Uh, also I build aircraft all day long. I, I work with some very high power, high impact, uh, pneumatic impact tools and shit. And so my hands take a beating throughout the day. So when you see me doing this shit, this is just me, especially when my brain has to focus on what's going on. I kind of lose track of what my body's doing. And naturally I do this shit just to kind of keep my fingers limbered up and stuff. Otherwise they will get very sore and kind of lock up on me. So. Plus for that sweet puss. I mean, if you're going to be yeah, angry. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's as soon as I get home, I know I'm going knuckles deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that echidna from Sonic. Just all knuckles. <laughs> so that's why I twitch and fidget so much yeah. uh, is, is because of, of this. And uh, yeah. so while I, I do appreciate everybody's concern and everything, uh, you know, you can take your well-wishing and thoughts and prayers and concern for me and shove it up your ass. That's because <laughs> it is absolutely nothing life-threatening. And in fact, it, it's barely even worth mentioning. And I just wasted a lot of time because it's better than whatever fucking Scotty would have talked about. <laughs> and he we, means your actual well-wishing, not that thing at Perkins. Yeah. No, no, that's what I was talking about. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They can shove that whole well up their ass. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I, I would like to, je baby Jessica, that kid who fell down the well back in the 80s, shove her up your ass. Uh, you know, uh, Chicken fingers, pie, toys, yes. all of it. I, I do appreciate people's concern, but yeah. this is, is absolutely nothing 
that it's not going to get any worse, but it's not going to get any better either. Yeah. That's that just the long and short of it. Right. Mostly long. Yeah. And, really and long. They're, they're and they're probably will, girthy. They, yeah. There probably will be different kind of changes and things like that. We we haven't really discussed a whole hell of a lot. Funny. Yeah. I'm going to have to with you being gone. That's mm-hmm. going to be a, a challenge. But oh, um, and Mike's tomorrow night, last week of the contest. Get in there, Scotty. No, thank you. Uh, but no, we may even change uh, the date. Get yourself that we another re- belt. Yeah. <laughs> no. mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we may even change the date that we we uh, release our episodes because we may record on a different day, just depending. February on February 29th, every year. Yeah. Every year, once a year. Once a year. <laughs> I'll be here for that, <laughs> okay. guys. I'll be honest. I'll, I can come once a year. Okay. Uh, but I come once a day. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes twice. Those changes. I will, knuckles. I will be giving you guys as much of a, a heads up as possible, um, and all that stuff. Nobody can ever replace Jeremy. Jeremy is is the best of all time yes and we're going to enjoy the time that we have with him still you know who you should get who bill burr okay i'll give him uh, a call have you yeah. tried that yeah give him a call yeah I'd, i don't know i think uh, you got none of these numbers so why don't you get bill burr's yeah i think i i think i would much rather have somebody like a burt i got it what kanye yes we should get kanye yes that would totally he Definitely fits in with the motif of this show. <laughs> yeah. He is free now. I don't think he has a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. You think, I mean, we'll, I'll, I'll push Yeezys. Okay. We'll get, we'll get Kanye on the show. Okay. We can do some. Oh, Yeezys. wait. Oh, Kanye West. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant the other one. Oh. Uh, no, East? Yeah. Mm-mm. North. That's his son. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Bring those beef. Well, uh, Kanye <laughs> Brigglesby. We I do, went to high school with him. We do got some stuff to get to uh, for today's show. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. Uh, they have uh, that, 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 that was it, Witching Well? What would you say it were? The Witching Well? Yeah. The Perkins? Perkins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah you can buy uh, your Manscaped products at Perkins, believe it or not. Actually, they, that Witching Well is full of pubic hair. Yeah, see, it makes it's perfect sense. Anywhere where you get cell or internet signal, <laughs> which I believe Perkins has pretty good signal, if <laughs> they, I recall right. They have great Wi-Fi. There's there's a there's an antenna and and a router down in that well. I'll be damned. If nobody's won it yet. Right. And and like if you don't have to use the guest Wi-Fi either, because it's always slower yeah you can actually use the employee wi-fi nice type in wishing well there, that's, that's the password that's the password makes yep, all sense. lowercase yeah but uh, manscaped.com they sell Do you have to buy product? an employee ticket on StubHub. yes and then just pretend to be one yes okay 100 percent uh, but they make excellent products. Manscaped, Manscaped.com does. Uh, one of their uh, best products that they have is the Lawnmower 4.0. That helps you keep your balls and your dick uh, right at the hilt, man. That it, That's really important to make sure you keep that nice and groomed and, and nice and, uh, what do you call it, smooth? I wouldn't call it smooth. I, I certainly don't call it that, okay, Scotty. Okay. That's, while accurate, <laughs> <laughs> I don't call it that. Yeah. Slick. Uh, I like to call it slick. Okay, we'll go <laughs> slick, especially if you use the uh, ball toner that they have as well. I keep a nice sheen of canola oil on it at yeah, all times. That's good <laughs> stuff. Um, I think it's getting ready to rustle Macho Man Randy Savage. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they have other products like the ball deodorant, um, which helps keep your nuts smelling nice and fresh when in there it's uh, kind of hot and damp outside. And I've put that to the test. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it definitely works. Uh, right but they, now. They have other products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Any product that you purchase, use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order and free shipping. They also have the shovel. No, they don't. Yeah, that way you can dig in your ass and get the dingleberries oh, out. Oh, that's the not shovel. a product. No, that's no. coming. That's, that's okay. Coming okay. soon. That's still an R. Yeah, that's still an R and D. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a D dingler. Yeah, it's a, D dangler. Yeah. Okay. That's the combine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, check out all of the great products at Manscaped dot com. Uh, it helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are uh, reading these commercials word for word. And why did you have to give every, give it away? They're they're doing the dangler. You're not supposed to tell that anybody. No, the that. deed dangler. The deed, whatever. Yeah. That you're not supposed to tell they're, anybody that. Well, we're just inside in in the inside. Well, no, so that's we inside. Oh, the deed dangler is a fully <laughs> internal product. Got it. Mm-hmm. All right. It's kind of like when you snake your drain. Okay. It's kind of what it's like. It goes, okay. So, uh, so, sounds fun. You got to be careful. You'll hit teeth. Oh, gross. So, <laughs> my aunt Eugenia actually makes it. <laughs> A wonderful dingleberry wine that is <laughs> oh my God. to die for. I'm sure it is. Smooth. Let's get to remember, to, to quote Scotty, it's smooth. Smooth. She <laughs> actually, How would you put it? Smooth? Uh, yeah, I don't know. She actually remembers all the dates they were bottled on, too. Oh, wow. So, That's impressive. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, we had some sports uh, that we need to get Bottles to. Them on somebody's birthday every year. Mm-hmm. Yep. First things first. Unfortunately, the Astros win the World Series. Did pretty Yeah, handily. you spoiled that with your fucking stupid wedding story. God damn it. I was so pissed. I was the only one not going for the Astros at that fucking wedding. Uh, I I'm, was really pulling for Phillies. I knew when they brought that reliever in, they were, he, I yeah. knew Alvarez was going to fucking hit that thing a mile. Yep, yep. and he did. Uh, the fan that caught that baseball got immediately offered $100,000 and turned it down. Yeah. Yeah. You, I would have threw it back. Yeah, I probably would not have. I would have kept it and sold it because he's going to get a lot more than hundred k for that damn thing. I just hate everybody being like, congratulations, Dusty Baker. You're the greatest manager. You haven't, you've managed, you couldn't win a World Series with a roided up baseball. Barry Bonds in his prime. You almost got your kid killed in the World Series once. Yeah, that's you, true. You fucking ruined it, Mark Pryor and Kerry Wood, overthrowing them and not calming them down after the Bartman incident. Yeah. You didn't... You just lucked into this shit. He's, yeah. This he's, is nothing he's done. He's kind of been the Andy Reid of baseball managers. Sure. He can get him to the postseason and then can't really do shit with it. He can't win the big ones. I think this time he was once just like, he did. you guys go. You just yeah. play. I'm yeah. going to chew on this toothpick and hang out. Yeah, when you got a team as stacked as the Astros were, you, you don't really got to do much. So And they're still fucking like Bregman and Altuve on that fucking team. I yeah. can't mm-hmm. root for those guys. I know. I can't do it. I just can't. But Verlander definitely got some puss, I hope. Oh, God. When they when she came down on the with uh, on that interview, yeah. oh, my God. So hot. And everybody was just like, Tom Brady married the wrong supermodel. 100%. <laughs> now, he was not on the trash can team, correct? No. He no. came the year I after? I don't think so. Three, I think he was on Detroit after. still, wasn't he? Verlander? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure he was. I don't think so. Uh, I could be wrong. Because it was, what, 2017? Yeah. Has it been that long ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, when when did the because the, the they win right after the Cubs? Yeah, okay. and then they asked him if they were gonna uh, slump the next year. And they're like, nope, we're not the 2016 Cubs. And then they're like, no, we just cheat. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if they if they cheated over this last season, like uh, using like those vibrate things, you know? Uh, the Astros. Yeah, they said that they had the one guy that already had the bat that was illegal in the World Series. Oh, great. Uh, he, he used Albert Pujols' bat, actually. Oh. And they let Pujols continue to use it because he was grandfathered in. So, But that kid couldn't use it. Huh. Yeah. And then what, they had the other something guy. Something with the design of it or what? I guess. Huh. And then something with another guy. They kept, they kept talking about a pitcher, how he kept going to his fucking hat all the time. Yeah. So Did you see yeah. that Did you see that one pitcher? It was, uh, it was actually the game that the Phillies won that they figured out he was tipping pitches the entire game. I think it was game... Lance McCullers. Huh? McCullers was the one that was tipping pitches. Well, right, but not on purpose. Shelled. He wasn't purposely No, pitches, no. Right? Whenever he was throwing you a fastball, his leg kick was significantly lower when he was throwing you off speed. Off speed, high leg kick. And you saw Bryce Harper tell Bohm right before he went up to the plate after he hit a bomb and mm-hmm. goes up to him and kind of... You know, tells him to come on over, and it was that was what he told him. He said, okay. "Yeah, he is tipping his pitches. Here's what he's doing." And then he ended up hitting a fucking bomb Ver- as well. Verlander was on that seventeen team. I was right. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, moving For on. What? Yeah, uh, moving on to college football. We had a lot of stuff happen over this last weekend. Unfortunately, Texas ends up beating K State in they Manhattan. Sure did. If K State would have yeah. showed up in that first half at all, it. I mean. Yeah, they're a better team than Texas, but the defense, they just let that running back run all over them in the first half. Bigger upset. I guess biggest surprise to me is that the fucking Kansas Jayhawks end up beating the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Made the shit out of them. See, now this didn't surprise me (laughs) as much. Oklahoma State is very beat up. I a don't lot care. of their star players. Well, and KU is is not a team to be taken lightly. And when a team is Ugh. playing with almost all backups at a lot of key positions, including yeah. quarterback, I believe, mm-hmm. uh, they might be on their third string quarterback actually. Yeah. So I mean, but that that doesn't really explain why KU hung what forty two points on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But still, I mean, they're they're just they're not playing their best right now. Yeah. Uh, but it is extremely nice for the very first time, I think, in the college football playoff since it's been a thing. 
Alabama ain't in it, baby. Probably not going to be. There's no. never been a two loss team, but if any two loss team ever would get in, it'd be goddamn Alabama. It would yeah. for sure be Alabama, which it's is going to so be one of those deals where like a bunch of teams are going to lose to teams they shouldn't on the final week of the season. They're yeah. be like, all right, well, Alabama, I guess come on back. Um, so a uh, buddy of the show, uh, Justin Nunnally, is a diehard uh, Alabama Roll Tide all all through and through. Well, this mm-hmm. game. Before the game happened, I sent him a text message, and it was on our way down to Texas. And I sent him a quote, and it said, Be good to people. Uh, you will be remembered for your kindness. Then uh, any level of your success you could possibly attain. That's from Mandy Hale. And I said, You are such a good person, my friend. I can't thank you enough for being so great to us. Keep going. Get that money. But never forget, LSU hates Alabama with all of their toothless trailer park having souls, and I'm rooting for them tomorrow. Love you, bro. And I gave him a kiss. His face. He responded with a voice text that I opened in a very quiet restaurant, and he just goes, "What the fuck, man!" <laughs> <laughs> and so I was just like, "Whoops." But anyways, yeah, sorry, sorry there, uh, Nunley. It was in uh, that voice was text. Like, uh, it goes to podcast. No, no. In fact, they oh. go away after you open them up, like in five minutes. So that's uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped that we're gonna have a. It looks like a new set of four teams. Like TCU is in the top four. I saw. Unfortunately, Tennessee ended up losing to Georgia, so Georgia went straight to the uh, number one spot. So it's gonna be fun. Well, lost pretty handily, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, Georgia's, really in, in my opinion, Georgia is the runaway number one team. I agree. In the country, it just sucks, man. I don't. I I'm sick of the fucking SEC. Exactly. Is what that's, I'm sick of. That's if they'd let fucking Devry in. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They would. Uh, they would shake it up. Um, I'm actually trying to pull it up here. Yeah, Ohio State is number two. Georgia's number one. Uh, TCU, I believe, is number four, and I believe Clemson is the other one. If I remember, Clemson correctly. lost. Oh, that's right. It's not them. Uh, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and uh, TCU and Tennessee is and see that'll number sort five. itself out between Ohio State and Michigan before the season's Correct. over. Correct, and I think that they're doing that because they've got Tennessee as the number five and Oregon as the number six. So one of those teams is going to be out, bounced out, and then Tennessee's I think going to come back well, in. And Tennessee's play. at a distinct disadvantage too because they're missing goalposts, right? So yeah. they can't kick field goals. That's correct. oh man, that does suck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, KU is missing goalposts as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Way to stay classy, dickheads. Yeah. yeah. Act like you've been there before. You were in the Orange Bowl. They legitimately have it. <laughs> yeah, they were in the Orange Bowl. They won it. Yeah. They've, oh, yeah. that's right. Back uh, when they played Fresno State, I think. Man, They've been ranked on a few occasions. Okay. Yeah. Act like you've been there. Get some class. Okay. Well, moving on to the... Somebody's going to get hurt. God damn it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those uh, things are fiberglass. When they break, they're sharp. Right. Uh, moving on to the NFL, uh, I know it was a loss, Derek, mm-hmm. but even after a loss, mm-hmm. are you convinced that Justin Fields is now the franchise quarterback Chicago has been looking for? Yes. And it's and you're happy about this. Yes, I was. He very, had a hell of a fantasy day. He sure yes, he shit did. did. Yeah. He, 40, uh, 45 points, I think, in our league anyway. Uh, yeah. people, some people call, keep calling him a running back. That guy has to run for his life. He has no line. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the fact that he has these dog shit receivers, yeah, just dog shit. The, the throw he made to Mooney, the, he's he's starting to find guys. St. Brown. St. Brown it. sucks. Uh, it sucks, too, because I like his brother. And that game um, that they, at the end where people were bitching about uh, that missed pass interference on Claypool at the very yeah. end of the game. They're like, that was blatantly fucking obvious. The refs screwed them. Well, yes, but when Miami's punting for the first time all game mm-hmm. on their very last possession, the refs didn't screw you. The front office did. <laughs> they traded away your fucking defense, yeah. and Miami just marched down at will every fucking drive. Yeah, and Miami's good. So I give it to Chicago for coming back every fucking time and answering Mm -hmm. so and i feel like he fields has the leadership he's had it since his rookie year yeah i think he's i think he is 100 percent a leader yeah and i think he will be i think he will be an excellent piece for you guys i really do Mm -hmm. uh the bears uh i also think the bears are probably going to be a lot better even still this season than you give them credit for no they're we have the worst defense in the league Uh, i don't think so. Uh, yeah we went from having to score 21 to having to score about 42 to win okay um but my favorite thing, uh, God damn it, just say it. 
Aaron Rodgers lost. Yeah, damn right he did to, to the, the Lions, Lions, baby. Three picks. Yeah. And I don't know. And I, tick, TikTok is scary. Three of them, I think, were, no, two. at least two of them were in the red zone. TikTok has me figured out. Okay. Because as soon as I start scrolling on Facebook, it's just pissed off Packer fans in my feed. <laughs> That's on my For You page. It's fucking Aaron Rodgers. God <laughs> damn it. We should have got rid of him in the offseason. Yeah. And I'm like, holy fuck, you know me. Yeah, and I think I made the perfect comparison for Aaron Rodgers. When you see him on the sidelines, or after he throws a pick, or a receiver drops the ball, or whatever, he is checked the fuck out. Uh-huh. He has resting Jay Cutler face. That's <laughs> what Aaron Rodgers has. Oh, it's so one hundred percent. I don't give a shit. Get me through this season. Uh huh. I don't know if he retires. He's got yeah. so much money on the table. He, Why would you? He's gonna he's gonna retire. He's guilty. I mean, he's a fucking money grubbing fuck. I mean, I think he might play again. I don't know. Oh damn it! That and that was an absolute boring fucking game. It was a low scoring game, and I don't care. Lions got the W, baby. Go oh, get them. So great. Oh, it's so. We, awesome. I feel like we have a when, shot at beating. When was the last time the Packers had lost to the Lions? Last year. Oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> and when Rodgers broke his collarbone, they lost to him. Too. Yeah. So, so that was the game last year. The main reason why I love Dan Campbell was because all he had to do was lose out, and they would get the first pick. But he decided to go out and get a W, and he ended, they ended up beating the Packers last year. So kudos, man. <sighs> All right. Next thing. Uh, are the New York Jets for real? No. 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 They beat the Bills. They got a higher score than the Bills. The Bills <laughs> beat the shit out of them the whole – I watched this game. The Bills dominated every facet of that game, except they couldn't put any goddamn points on the board after halftime. 20 to 17, the Jets beat the Bills. The big scary thing is rumors going around that Josh Allen might have a, might need Tommy John. Oh, no. Uh, He's not even a pitcher. UCL uh, injury. He's shown holding his elbow. They thought originally it reports were sounded relieving, and now they're like, well, he might have a UCL injury, which typically that requires Tommy John, so he may need Tommy John. He was definitely throwing some uncharacteristic type passes in the second half of, of oh, the game. That sucks so, so much. So if that happens, that's fucking heartbreaking for the Bills. The Bills are out of contention. If, they are if that happens. completely different sure. team without him. Yeah. Um, I will say Miami is in contention, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, Waddle and Hill are unreal. Hill is leading the league by a long shot in receiving yards mm-hmm. right now. Well, and if you look at the AFC East, uh, you have Buffalo, who's still atop that division at 6-2. and two. The Jets and the Dolphins are both 6-3. and three. And then the bottom of that division is the New England Patriots, who are 5-4. and four. Well, And the Dolphins are 6-3. and three, And two of those losses, they didn't have Tua. And the other one, they didn't have him the whole game. Yeah. So, so he's 6-0. and oh. They also beat the Bills. Mm-hmm. And I think that they are head and shoulders above... The, the, jets. the jets yeah i agree oh boy that's just fucking scary but yeah i think the the dolphins are going to be your surprise playoff team to go maybe even make a deep run i think uh, they're gonna make a year. run i do too uh two teams that i don't necessarily think are going to make the playoffs uh will the los angeles rams miss this year yeah oh yeah they're, they're sure bad. looking like it they're yeah, bad they are bad and i'll tell you this uh seattle one right now is looking really good really good but I honestly believe that with the pickup of Christian McCaffrey, the 49ers are dangerous. They are going to compete with the Eagles. Yes. By the end of this season. I, I, I agree. In fact, I think that may be the NFC championship game. Well, and you look at the Eagles too. I mean, they, nobody they haven't really played anybody too tough. Uh the Cowboys. With Cooper Rush. And the Giants. And uh, so Yeah, I just I mean that <sighs> The, they just look so damn sound. They and do. They do. They look good, but I just in every I facet know. of the game. Yeah, they're so consistent. Hurts is playing out of his fucking mind. AJ Brown is fucking playing out of his mind. Devonta I mean, Smith, Dallas Goddard, yes. all of them. Their offense is on a whole nother level. Miles Sanders even looks good as a starting running back. I'm actually kind of impressed. Like that offensively, the Eagles are just unstoppable. Dare I say, but. Uh, as far as uh, I agree with Jeremy, NFC Championship game, I think it's going to be fucking San Francisco and uh, the Eagles in that game. 
Uh, it and, may happen before that in the playoffs just because the Niners have lost four games already yeah. this year. So they're probably not going to be seated as high as what their talent wise is. That's possible. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about Seattle Seahawks are on fire with Geno Smith. Uh, they beat the Cardinals 31 to 21 in Arizona. And I heard something that was kind of funny. I heard that, and I don't know if this is true. This was definitely a meme on Facebook, but whenever we had all of the trades trying to go through over this last week, there was apparently a meme that came up and I don't know if it's hundred percent true, but I guess the Denver Broncos tried to trade back to no, Seattle, no. Russell Wilson for Geno Smith. That's just a meme. Oh my God. If that were Wait a true. Minute. No, it was on the internet. Yeah. There. So it had so, to have been true. Yeah. They can't, it's very heavily, you know, edited and checked and censored. Right. Exactly. They run through that with a fine tooth comb. So that's gotta be it. true, but yeah. we're past the trade deadline. So apparently it didn't go through. It did not go through. It did not go through, but, um, Geno yeah. Smith is a guy who, up until he played a couple of games last year, I didn't realize was still in the league. Yeah, yeah, he he's. I love his pizza rolls. Did he yeah. play? Did he play for the Chiefs? I think for a year or something. No, about no. Uh, the, he was at he was he's, at he's the Jets by the Jets. Yeah, and then he's bounced around. And I thought for one for a little bit he was back behind Mahomes. But I don't think so. Maybe not. I could be wrong, but. But no, uh, that's another hot team um, in that division. I think Seattle may uh, may make it uh, a challenge uh, because uh, defensively they look good. Offensively with Geno, Geno just doesn't lose games. He, he's not losing them games. So I think he's pretty valuable. God, the story of the fucking week, though. Did you see fucking Car- uh, Kirk Cousins? Yeah. On the airplane with his fucking shirt off. Mm, and, yeah. Oh, my God. And then the dude on Monday Night Football, I forget the announcer, fucking did that. He wore the big goofy glasses, yeah. had his shirt off, dead on. Fucking and hilarious. by the way, that that wasn't a charter flight. That was just standard first class <laughs> amongst regular people, and they were all loving it. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. Last thing I wanted to touch on, we were uh, Jeremy was talking about it before we uh, started recording this episode. Apparently, the uh, Indianapolis Colts have an interim head coach, right? Jeff Saturday. Uh-huh. And uh, you said something pretty amazing that I didn't know about. Well, he has absolutely zero college or NFL coaching experience. Not head coaching, coaching. <laughs> He's coached a few games in high school. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even know if he's the head coach, probably. Yeah. But... Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I have seen several interviews with Jeff Saturday. Seems like a good dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's who you want to trust the future of your franchise to. Yeah. And the owner, what's that pill popping fucker? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He gave the strangest press conference where he just contradicted himself so many times how they wanted an experienced guy who can lead him to the playoffs. But they're glad he doesn't have any experience. So that way he doesn't have any of those fears that are built up in, in most head coaches. He, he doesn't know about any of that, so he can just go into it with a clear head. And, I mean, it's like, do you want an experienced guy who could take you there, or do you want a guy who's too stupid to know he's in trouble already? I mean, what? Uh, but not, not, Actually, I totally forgot about this. This is actually a good thing. Um, one of the most hated people in the NFL uh, for Jeremy, Joseph, is none other than Dan Snyder. And Dan Snyder. No, is, that's not just me. That's a universal. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's everybody. Uh, but he is going to uh, sell the Washington Commanders. So uh, apparently to his that's wife, a, probably. <laughs> no, apparently he, he has contacted uh, his bank and is they're putting it up for sale. And I think Bezos might actually buy it. So great, yippee. Okay, but last but not least, the. Uh, uh, what, what was I talking about? The Jaguars. Yeah, the Jaguars beating the Las Vegas uh, Raiders. Mm-hmm. So the conspiracy theory behind, or that I've been hearing, is that Josh McDaniels is actually doing this on purpose. Can you believe this? Cause I he, don't. Because he doesn't like Derek Carr. He wants them to bomb so then he could get a quarterback in the first round. That's what he wants to do. Quarterbacks if he aren't doesn't, that great this year, though. They're not. If, if he doesn't uh, stop fucking around, he's not going to be there. <laughs> yeah. They're going to drop his ass. I mean, it's nothing to fire a fucking head coach yeah, for most teams other than the Bears, apparently. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, here, here's, here's the thing that I've seen with them. I saw something today. I believe in their last three losses, they have had double-digit leads on the teams that they have played uh-huh. and wound up blowing them in the second half. 17 points, I think, was the lowest 
smallest lead that they had. And they've blown all three. That's so bad. So something's going on. Oh, that's so bad. I wonder if they think the game's over. Maybe. It's definitely possible. All right, guys, let's uh, let's pack it in. And they, then the other team's still out there. Clock's still running. <laughs> they're, it really, really sucks for them uh, because they have so much talent on that team, so much talent, and yet they have a record that just – it just shocks me how, how poor they're doing with as much talent that they have. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing about those rumors are the, the power and control over the team that a quarterback has. You can call it as shitty play as you want. Quarterback can still audible yeah. at the line or call whatever in the fucking huddle. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's true. So, and, and Derek Carr knows enough to call better plays and he can read defenses and shit like that if that were actually happening. Yeah. So I don't think that that's necessarily true. And he may not, not like Derek Carr. And, and it's not like Devontae's not getting targets. He's their number one target share. I mean, that's it. If that were happening, that's too big of a risk for him because mm-hmm. he already got ran out of Denver and yeah. had a pretty bad reputation. Mm-hmm. And it's taken him this long to get another head coaching job. Yeah, he, and he spurned the Colts last year. Mm-hmm. So it's ballsy to do that on purpose yeah. because if you get fired again – you're, you're never coaching you're done. again. That's yeah, it. He's done. And I like him as a person. He seems like he knows what the fuck he's doing. But then You guys hang out? Yeah. 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 He's a cool guy. Okay. You well, him and Nunley? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Was he down there in Texas this weekend? Yep. Was he at the wedding? Uh-huh. Was it his wedding? It was his wedding. Oh, we got damn. Yeah. Wow. So close to a game. Yeah, I know. Huh. Kind of crazy. Uh, but anyways, that is sports for this week. Now we get to get on to the fun stuff. We're going to get on to real shit or horse shit. Self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, you're an idiot. Uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. If I do something while my team is losing the game and then they start winning, I will keep doing that until it no longer works. 100% real shit. <laughs> yeah. I am the most superstitious fucking person. <laughs> I watched the entire... Uh, actually, it wasn't me. Uh, there was a Super Bowl I was watching where the team that I wanted to win, who was playing New England, was losing. And it was at a buddy's apartment, and New England started, or he went out to smoke a cigarette on his deck. Yeah. And uh, it was Carolina, New England, and Carolina started scoring and driving. And I was like, hey, you're staying out on that deck. (laughs) And it's February. It's his apartment. He's in shorts and a wife beater. (laughs) Finally, he's shivering. He's like, I'm out of cigarettes. I said, shut up. <laughs> I'll let you in your house when I'm good, goddamn ready to. <laughs> Almost identical situation with my wife going out to smoke through 2014 and 2015 Royal seasons. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Anytime she'd go out to smoke, all of a sudden they'd start kicking ass, and it's like, no, stay out there. <laughs> I don't, I don't care if you get cancer. Yeah, keep smoking. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is 100 percent real shit, and it's for. She came out things. of the humidor. Oh, did she? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any chance that uh, she was wearing like some uh, huge heels and maybe six foot seven? She's around six seven, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be goddamn if my, my wife wasn't 13 <laughs> feet tall. And I said, What the hell you want from me, wife? And she said, I need about tree fitted. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is such real South Park, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> about that time I looked at my wife and she had red eyes and green scales everywhere. And I was like, God damn it, you Loch Ness monster. <laughs> That's what it was. It wasn't the succubus. It was the Loch Ness Ness, Monster. I need battery fit. Yeah. Uh, No, I'll even change the channel back and forth. Do you do that shit? Like, I'll change it to a different channel when they start sucking to hopefully, like, reload the load. I I, I just turn the game off. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Turn it off and turn it back. No, I I mean, like, immediately. Oh, I was talking to a lady at work the other day about it, and she was like, I made my husband leave a Chiefs game. And I was like, what? "What?" Yeah, she said that he was at the game with some work friends, and they were getting trounced. And she was like, "You need to leave. You're bringing bad luck." And she was <laughs> at home here, and he fucking left. Went to Power and Light. They won. I'll she be was like, damn. "See, I fixed it." <laughs> <laughs> she did too. Yeah, yeah she's she not did. wrong. She really did. Yeah, that son of a bitch was why they were losing. Yep. Uh, no, this is one hundred percent real shit. Right, Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one: real shit or horse shit. I would have no problem if my spouse was significantly taller than me. 
Puts me closer to that box. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Real shit. No. No problem with that this, whatsoever. No. This is such horse shit. If, if my wife was significantly taller, like, okay, fine. Six foot seven fucking drag queen person. You got her like, number. Uh, no. But, like, mm-hmm. you are no longer. You're taking my number. <laughs> all right. All right. Here. Yeah. I'll have it. Check your phone. It's in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, God. I got the shivers. Um, but anyways, no, That's like, love, you, no, it's not, you are no longer the protector. You are now the protected. I would hate to go to a bar and like get into a fight. And my wife has to like beat the shit out of somebody instead of me because I am, I'm smaller. She already has to. <laughs> it's such true. I would much rather it be that way because my wife causes the fucking fight in the first fucking place. <laughs> There's some giant ass fucking dude, and she's just like that guy's a fucking asshole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him about it. <laughs> I, he needs to. He's not gonna talk to his girlfriend that way. And I'm like, honey, I can't fucking fight. Shut up. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Um, yeah, I got no problem going up on a woman. Um, <laughs> yeah, but okay. Now, while I don't have to deal with that, my wife, I'm, I'm built very strangely. I'm like two inches taller than my wife, but my legs are significantly shorter. I'm long torsoed. Uh-huh. And uh, so when I get in the car after her, I still have to scoot the seat up because uh-huh. my feet won't reach the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> and that is emasculating. Plus, plus you, you have hooves. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I got to stop buying. I'm buying the wrong shoes, guys. Yeah, that's you it. are. Yeah. yeah. I should go to a farrier. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Okay. Uh, next one. Famous Farriers. That's where I got my <laughs> shoes at. <laughs> Fair Jordans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one. Real shit or shit. horse shit. <laughs> you okay there? Better than you. Okay. <laughs> Real shit or horse shit. I can sleep in past noon and have no regrets. Oh, God. I'm 40 now. Mm-hmm. Now it's horse shit. It used to be real shit until I started working at nine nine in the morning. Uh-huh. Now I'm up at seven thirty on my day off. I'm up at eight or eight thirty. I've slept until ten or eleven, but if I sleep until noon, especially now when it's fucking dark at five o'clock, I've wasted the teeny bit of daylight that yeah. we get. So yeah, I feel like shit if I sleep in past noon. Yeah, this is total horseshit. I, I can't. I'm the same way as Derek. I get up at like 10 till 6 every morning, work at 7, and don't get home until 6 p.m. So there is no way. And, and he's exactly right. If I sleep, I don't even think, if I sleep past 11 o'clock in the morning on the weekend, uh, my day is gone, I, and it pisses me off. Jeremy? I don't remember the last time I slept past 8. I yeah. really don't. I just, it's not that I wouldn't want to i can't yeah i I mean between the insomnia and the fact that i've been conditioned to get up at five in the morning every morning for the last 24 years that's just kind of my default mode yeah uh generally i'm up seven yeah yeah to get ready guys comments are going to be blasting Mm -hmm. this calling us boomers yeah it's (laughs) It's gonna happen it's gonna happen and people don't even know what the fuck that means remember we did that check i'm three years away from being a millennial I'm barely yeah. Gen X. And so, yeah, boomers are my parents' generation. Yeah. And and Sooner fans. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they really like them in Oklahoma. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah that's like a- Norman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Bates. Yeah. 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 Anthony right. Perkins. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Speaking of Perkins. <laughs> you want to go get some food after this? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'd love some chicken strips and pie and... <laughs> nine dollars well yeah nine dollars. yeah i only got like eight, nine bucks on me. Right? <laughs> That'd be all right? Yeah, I think so. All right. All, all right. right. All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I spank the monkey more than five times a week. Um, real shit. Mm-hmm. More than five uh-huh. times a day. <laughs> really? You can oh do yeah, that? yeah. I didn't know I could dry myself out. I think if it's if blood starts to come out, you're doing it too much. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Maybe I've been doing too much. Yeah, yeah. All those kids have nosebleeds. Uh huh. So I got. I can't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's real shit. I think. I think all guys do at least once a day. Once a day. Well, yeah, I mean, goddamn. Sure. Yeah. I've. I've. And I'm, Scotty's not joking because I have seen him buying ink like on yeah. the regular <laughs> at Office Max. Uh, yeah, this is real shit. 
Jeremy. You know what's going on of when you hear it's real shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an old dot matrix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jack off as soon as I tear the sides <laughs> off. Good it's God. like he's got a receipt from Jiffy Lube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, it, it's, I'm, I, I average once a day. Yeah. For sure. For sure. That clears your mind, you know? Clears my dick. And that, and dick too. and balls, mostly. Yeah, of does. semen. Yeah, that's I, right. Yeah, that's what happens every time I do this. Oh, jeez. It does clear your mind, though. It helps me make better decisions. Mm-hmm. I, I jerked off in the voting booth just so I knew <laughs> who I was voting for. That's right? how you cast your vote. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, good job. Uh, last one. Shit, hanging Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, last one. Real shit or horse shit, if I could give myself a blowjob, I would never leave the house. Horse shit. I would have to go on runs for chapstick and mouthwash. <laughs> yeah. You, Daily. That's right. Uh, is, I, I, don't, I don't really know. This is a weird question. Because if you could give yourself a hand job, we, we do it all, all day long. If you could suck your own dick, would you do it? Yes, of course. <laughs> That's not the question here, though. It's would you ever leave the house? And for me, of course I would. How else am I going to show off my new talent <laughs> and make other dudes jealous? <laughs> I don't do this yoga shit for my health. I'm trying to get flexible, folks. Right. <laughs> Sir, this is an Aldi's. <laughs> yeah. We don't have that at Perkins here. <laughs> oh, That's shit. what I wished for. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably real shit. I I probably would never leave the house. Okay. Well, that is real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Kind of, again, self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, you're a moron. Uh, First one, overrated or underrated, being a professional horse fluffer. A horse what? Fluffer. What the fuck is that? That's whenever, you know, you, you get the horse hard before. Yeah. You, you know. My very first job, I was a fluffer for Thin Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> was really? that a band you managed? I didn't manage them. I just fluffed them. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go overrated on this. Uh, this is this is uh, very intimidating. So uh, I'm going to go, no, overrated. But I'm going to say underrated. When really? You, yeah, when when they, when you do what you love, they say you never work a day <laughs> in your life. Oh, okay. you know. And uh, yeah, I just love getting horse boners. They just <laughs> they, they they're fucking you know it, it. Nothing makes them run faster. That's right. I guess. And sure. Yeah. Wow. I like helping animals fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Noah. I guess. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. How about you, Jeremy? Sweet, sweet horse puss. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> I, the rational person in me wants to say that this is overrated. However, if you've ever seen a horse's dick in, per- in person, you know you can't take your eyes off of it <laughs> once you see it. And so what else are you going to do? <laughs> You're already staring at it. You might as well get some arm work in, right? <laughs> so awful it is awful i don't want to be doing this i have to it's <laughs> got a pair with the cardio I'm helping the horse oh, good grief control uh, the horse population have your horse spayed or neutered right <laughs> <laughs> all right next one overrated or underrated polka music well, after watching that stupid fucking Weird Al documentary, <laughs> mockumentary, I'm going to have to go fucking overrated here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'll never get that two hours back, you son of a bitch, Alvin Yankovic. <laughs> uh, you know what? What it- are you thinking, Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> you're Harry fucking Potter. You're better than this. <laughs> for me, I... Uh, for the longest time, I would say it is definitely overrated. You know, I would, I would have said that. Until Jeremy introduced me to one of the bands that he managed, Mm -hmm. uh, and they changed my mind for polka music. Now I think it's severely underrated. Do you remember the band name? Wasn't that Harvey and the Oilers? Yeah, it was Harvey and the Oilers. Yeah, so I'm going to go underrated. Jeremy? Um... I don't know where people <laughs> rate it at. I don't know where it currently stands because I don't actually hate polka music in small doses. It can be fun like at a wedding dance or a party or something Yeah, for a few songs. But then I, I couldn't do it all day, every day. So I don't know really what 
wh- where's the median at? <laughs> where, I don't know. What am I comparing it to? I'm just going to say it's underrated and get it over with. Well, yeah, po- uh, Polka, uh, King of the Midwest, you know? Polka, <coughs> Polka, Polka, Polka. No? No. No? Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, what happened? I fucking blacked out. <laughs> you did. Uh, Scotty sneezed. Yeah, I, I did. I sneezed. Yes. <laughs> it's just a cough. Uh, uh, that, that was, was fucking one? unreal. Uh, uh, well, bless me. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, yeah, so anyway, excuse me for God's sake. Sorry. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Kids cussing. Fucking underrated. So great. Oh, my God. I Again, TikTok is figuring me out because <laughs> uh, that has been popping up like crazy. <laughs> the little, there's one where a little girl's like, Mommy, 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 can I say a bad word? Can I say a bad word? Can I say a bad word? Fine. You motherfucking bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. It is the greatest thing in the whole fucking world. That's why I don't have kids. Yeah. Because they wouldn't know regular words. <laughs> would be like a parrot. Yeah. <laughs> I... I think your daughter has Tourette's. No. No. Yeah. No. I, she's just a very good learner. Yeah. Yeah. She'll be reading in no time. My favorite. Give her this dirty joke book. It's t- Oh, this is 100% underrated. Uh, but my favorite's whenever they're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, in se- instead of saying, what the fuck, like, what the shit, or what the ass, like, they just don't know where to put it. Oh, I, I think, still do that. Oh, I think it's mm-hmm. fucking great. So I'm going to go underrated. What the fuck gets old and boring? It does. It does. How about you, Jeremy? I'm just going to say it's underrated. Uh there, my son, you all met him uh, at the <laughs> yeah. live show. Yeah. When he was three, I, I had this jacket that somebody had given me. It's this old, like, 70s style. It was fake leather. It just looked awful. And so I kept it just to piss my ex-wife off. I'd put it on and Perfect. wear it around the house. And she would get so pissed and annoyed just by the looks of this jacket and probably me. Um, <laughs> and, and her... Th- Take that fucking coat off, she would say. And then one time, just to fuck with some company that we had over, my my son was probably three, and I just went and got the jacket while we had people. Take that fucking coat off. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus, it's so great. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Kicking a soccer ball at a disabled kid. Underrated. <laughs> you can't get that out of fast enough. Uh, I, it's any kid, first and foremost. I don't discriminate. Disabled, non-disabled. But goddamn, if you fucking watch a kid fly out of a fucking wheelchair, that's partially a miracle and partially painful. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Like, you were mobile for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is underrated as hell. It's great. I fucking love it, especially like when you see it and it's like a straight shot straight into their face. Oh, it's great. How about you, Jeremy? This is overrated as fuck. Why would anybody enjoy anything with a soccer ball involved? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to make it fun, Jeremy. That's exactly oh, Jesus. Right. Even that can't liven that shit up. It's still <laughs> boring. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated, falling in love. Overrated. Really? Absolutely. Uh Oh, really? Makes you do stupid shit. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking, I got married. (laughs) It's a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah, my wife did, and she fucked up worse than I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a do not do, do not recommend. Yeah. Uh, This is way, way overrated. When this happens, there are wars that have been fought because of this. I uh, I can't stress it enough how much or how overrated this is. Love you, honey. Jeremy? Yeah, this is so overrated. If, if I fell in love tomorrow, do you know how pissed off my wife would be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in love with her. Right. But to fall in love, I would. it would have to be somebody new, and she wouldn't care for that, I don't think. <laughs> or right. she might go, Whew. Yeah. Finally, I don't have to she keep could. scooting the goddamn car seat back. <laughs> That's right. Okay, that was overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Guys, any if you guys have any suggestions for any of these, excuse me, for any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. And uh, if we like any of them, we'll give you a shout out on the show. Uh, first question. If you were in an open field with an aluminum baseball bat, how many 10-year-olds with bike helmets could you take out before they overtook you? Question. Okay. 
are these 10 year olds wearing the bike helmets for protection Mm -hmm. or are they special (laughs) i was gonna go there (laughs) no they're just wearing it for protection just for protection okay Okay, then there's more because the special ones are extra strong they sure are (laughs) yeah i don't know that they can actually be hurt by conventional weapons (laughs) i don't think they can either so 56 56? Yeah, I, my cardio is not up to par right now, okay. so I'm going to go with 56. I think I could I could knock the shit out of them before they finally overtake me. I uh, Special kids? One. One. Yeah. Just one. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, this is th- there is not an amount. It, it would be an, an, infinite, an, an infinite amount of 10-year-old kids. I would be just taking them out one by one. They would kick the shit no, out of you. Fu- I've got yeah. an aluminum bat. Yeah, they're wearing a fucking helmet. Congratulations. That's It's covering the top of your head, not your fucking face. I am going to town, and I am going yard on a lot of them. So you see so, that first kid. And how how are they coming at you? Is it ninja movie style, one at a time? Or are they coming at you from all angles, all at the same time? I, I need more information. I like to think that it's uh, all angles. Like, it's a fucking charge, free oh, for all. Yeah. Because don't think I haven't thought this through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long before we came to this show. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's an it's, aluminum bat. It's it not, is an aluminum it, bat, but eventually you'll be overrun if they just keep coming. I don't know. And if they come at you from all directions, it's going to be a lot quicker. Just tornado tornado twist that fucking Again, bat. I'm telling uh, you. You're overestimating your cardio. Eventually, yeah, they're going to be like stepping over other dead 10-year-olds. I'm good. This I, is the downfall of almost every regular person who gets into a street fight is that they do not know just how exhausting <laughs> yeah. fighting and beating people up can be. It I've is, watched you true. go up my steps. There is not infinite for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How about you, Jeremy? Come on, man. 66. 66? Oh, you got me by 10. Yeah. Yeah, you're all defense, so I get it. Yeah, that's two sixes. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely <clears throat> playing defense. I'm I'm hitting back. I'm, I'm keeping a distance. You're counter swinging? I sure am. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah once I get the bat swinging, I'm not going to stop because <laughs> that puts momentum on my side. <laughs> all right. I'm... Uh, yeah, that, that, that's really, I think, the most unbelievable part of Double Dragon. What's that? How how much they could swing that bat around without getting exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Double Dragon? When did they swing a bat around? You could get a baseball bat. Yeah. Oh. In the game. And, oh, in the, the game. I was thinking the movie. I was like, there was no baseball bat in the movie. And, and if you ever start running low on energy in that game, you just do like anybody would do, kick the trash can and eat the apple. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I still do that <clears throat> to this day. Good. Uh, next question. So I always do yoga at the dump. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, next question. What's the worst That's part? That's what the D in DDPY is. <laughs> <laughs> dump. Next question. What's the worst part about living in Mexico? Nobody do your lawns- landscaping. Yeah. Uh... I think it's all of the illegal immigrants, you know, all of the people coming from America yeah. trying to get down into Mexico. I There's think that's a problem. There's a lot of minorities down there. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think that's a problem. I mean, they, they're they building a wall, I hear, and stuff like that, trying to keep white people like me out of Mexico. I think that's awful. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Soccer. So- <laughs> Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Nailed it. 100%. Hey, love that shit. And it's actually not even pronounced soccer down there. No, it's football. Football? Yeah. Stupid. I'd rather be kicked in my balls <laughs> with your foot than watch that shit. Also, having to sleep sitting up with one of those big fucking hats on. <laughs> <laughs> Get a mattress, you prick. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mariachi bands everywhere. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Trying to- that, that is so strange. Whenever I work with somebody who is from Mexico... And they'll have their music blaring, and oh. it's always the weirdest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Jesus. That is the worst. Yeah, that is pretty bad. It's that shit and Bad Bunny. That's it. (laughs) I don't know what Bad Bunny is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Next question. What's a bumper sticker a goose would put on his car? Honk if you're horny. (laughs) God damn it. I just... uh, Because them geese or some horny fuckers are honking all the time. They are. They are. (laughs) (laughs) 
That means I want to fucking geese. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of did the same thing. I just did honk, honk. That was mine. Jeremy? What was yours again? <laughs> honk, honk. You think that's what they have on their bumper stickers? Yeah. This is kind of a trick question. You know, geese don't have cars. <laughs> well, this uh, one does. Apparently, someone's never seen an Aflac commercial. That's totally true. That's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a whole different story. Uh, <laughs> mine would be honk if you're Canadian. Uh, that would be mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can can I can I tell you my story? Yeah, okay. baby. Let's go. So this happened. I'm going to say four or five years ago. My wife and I we are at out west by the Lowe's. There's that Jimmy John's, mm-hmm. and we are at the drive-through, and you know we hand them our credit card and they close the window behind them and we're just waiting. And all of a sudden I just hear this <clears throat> and feel this wetness and a fucking goose had shit <laughs> and we're pulled up really close to the drive through window. So it came down in the crack between the building and the car and hit right on the top. Cause my windows rolled down. So it hit on the interior <laughs> top of the fucking where the window rolls down and just splattered everywhere. How did he do that from his car? I know. That's what I'm saying. They don't have cars. <laughs> oh, shit. I like to think that they would have an in memoriam bumper sticker. That's what it would be. Oh, God. Yeah, in, exactly. In memory of Mother Goose. That's right. <laughs> So, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> my other bathroom's a golf course. How about that? <laughs> That's fucking great. But, no, it was the most – I was so both infuriated <laughs> and really impressed at the same time. At the, uh, If he meant to do that, I got to think it was just freak luck, but if he meant to do that, good on that fucking bird, <laughs> for real. And gooses, they shit – like small dog turds. <laughs> yeah. It's not just your standard white speck. It is a bunch, and it's spattered <laughs> everywhere. Have fun eating a sandwich after that happens, guys. Oh, man. We had already paid. We couldn't even say, you know what, never mind, and drive away. <laughs> That's his sandwich now. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Thank God they were protected on the indoors. Yeah. Have, oh. you, have you ever seen, uh, a, a, not a goose, I haven't seen, but that'd be fantastic, but a bird just fly into a fucking window? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is the best fucking thing ever. Oh, it, That's it's, it's definitely a, as good, if not better, than a fucking soccer ball getting kicked into a <laughs> <laughs> disabled kid. Uh, all right. Next question. Especially if it's a disabled bird. Yes. He is now, for sure. <laughs> Next question. The worst restaurant blank hut. Fish sticks hut. Fish sticks hut? Yeah. Fish dicks? No, fish sticks. Okay. And that's all they have. That's all that's, they yeah. have? Yep. That doesn't sound too bad. That sounds fucking terrible. Vanda Camps. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Vanda Camps <laughs> and ketchup. Oh, that's, that's good. No, I'm out. Uh, I, I did uh, the worst restaurant. You don't even go Gordon's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vandy Camps. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Full w- of surprises today. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. The worst restaurant, Coconut Hut. That's mine. Right, yeah, Jeremy? Yeah, good one. Yeah, that's great, Scotty. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Pretty, I, I really love the support. I look, Okay, I, I got to admit, I dazed up. Okay, so you're at this wedding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anything? Oh, do I have one for yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. mustard. M- M- mustard. Mustard hut. hut. And that's all they have. Just ladle it into a bowl. <laughs> oh, mustard. I they, they got every kind. Yellow, Dijon, brown, mm-hmm. spicy. Billy yeah. Bob Thornton serving mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Here's that, your mustard. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. We ain't even got any potted meat. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Sling blade. Mm-hmm. You could have circus peanut hut. Oh, you you'd could. like some French fried potato. <laughs> That's next door. We just got mustard. Go get your biscuits <laughs> elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Mayonnaise would be another bad one. <laughs> Jesus, that'd be awful. Uh, all right. Last question. What would you expect to be on channel 999,000? I got mine. Okay. I, I legitimately think it would be the infomercial of Esteban trying to sell his guitar. Only it's updated. It's new. 
That's it's, electric, what it, it's an electric guitar. It's an electric acoustic guitar. That should be on channel one. No. To be honest. And I'm going to watch it on a regular basis because that Esteban, he's just so amazing. He, he's legendary. 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 <laughs> Did he actually even have any award-winning songs? He had three songs. I looked it up once. He's had <laughs> three songs that charted on the Billboard Hot 100 for very short periods of time. Uh, I don't believe any of them made it over 80, though. So <laughs> certainly not anything. The I listening mean, demographic or the number on the charts? <laughs> he could probably sell out Vorchez. Okay, he's he's that level of popular, but no venues bigger than that. You yeah. put him like in the Cotillion Ballroom, it's going to be a sparse crowd, like a Royals game. Oh. Damn, he just compared us to fucking. Esteban. I was getting ready to say we're, we're oh, no, we couldn't sell out Vorchez. We're not legendary. <laughs> we got pretty damn close, so I'll take it. Well, sold him anyway. We were, we were kind of sellouts. Yeah, for doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about uh, how about you, Derek? Oh. uh... I'm going to go, that's the channel where it's nothing but disabled kids getting soccer balls kicked out. <laughs> oh, damn. Just pow. Damn it. I think that'd be uh, the most watched uh, channel ever. That or dogs licking themselves. Okay. I'd watch that too. How about you, Jeremy? Okay. This, I would actually never turn it off of this. If you could just get like, you know, cell phone cam footage of teenage girls having to change flat tires. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so entertaining <laughs> with no help with no help at all by themselves yep they're on the side of the road traffic going by fairly busy intersection and they've got to change the tire no cell phone can't uh -uh. call anybody and they're in the middle of nowhere you know how much crying there would be, be you great. could actually break the rest on those lug nuts with the tears <laughs> come streaming <laughs> off their face because I don't know if you knew this or not, but Liquid Wrench is actually made out of Teenage Girl Tears. Wow, that's that's great. <laughs> it sure is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas uh, for this week. If you do have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. But now we get to move to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I uh, I lost last week. Yeah. Um, Jeremy won. So, of course I uh, did. Of course you did. Uh, and People that, felt sorry for me. <laughs> yeah, they, they obviously think... They they thought that your uh, rheumatoid arthritis was uh, you know gave you the W for that. See, that's nothing to make fun of, Scotty. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You're gonna get people hating us. <laughs> that's probably true. Uh, but anyways, uh, so Jeremy ends up getting the championship picks this week. Derek gets the sandwich picks, and I get the first pick. And this week's draft is going to be the worst souvenirs. Okay, so this is like whenever you go visit a place and you buy something from a fucking gift shop. And they're all stupid, and they're all the same. Uh, so the first one I am going to pick, uh, I think I, I this has got to be the 101. It has to be the 101. And that is the I Love New York t-shirts. Okay. Right? Like everybody goes and buys one. and the, the, No, it doesn't have to be. But what? It, according to you, it is. Um, but no, it doesn't have to be. Oh I have God. some that are worse. Oh, man. But that's that's my first uh, first pick. Derek, you get one. Snow globe. Fuck. I was hoping that the, would come back. Those are the fucking worst. Yeah. What the fuck are you going to do with the goddamn thing? Watch it snow, I guess. Once. Then that's it. Just shake right. it up. All right. Yep. They fucking suck. They do suck. All right, Jeremy, you get two. Okay. This is something that they have at a lot of gift shops everywhere. It's where you pay 51 cents to mash your oh, own fucking oh, penny so damn in the crank. I don't even know what that's called. Oh, that's a flattened penny. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. That's so good. It's like, what? I'm paying you 50 cents to crush my own penny, <laughs> making it totally worthless now, and putting your stupid fucking logo on there. Oh, that's <laughs> that is, a great that one. That is a fucking you. great you, one. You just won. Yeah. And then to give that to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so good. 
All right, you get another one, dude. Uh, uh, commemorative jelly spoon. <laughs> <laughs> if you notice, I'm not looking at a list, by the way. Uh, I'm not This either. is from experience. <laughs> uh, I'm not either. I'm going off the top of my head. Uh, okay, Derek, how about you? Street sign. A street. What do you mean a street sign? When they fucking have like a Disney Boulevard and it's a uh, giant fucking like it looks like a street. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A street sign. You fucking. What am I gonna do with that? That's not. Yeah. That's not going over the mantle. Yeah. Okay, I am going to go with uh, name keychains. Okay. Right. And you never find yours. It's always like if you, if you find it that one that says Derek, it's spelled like incorrectly. Right. Correct. Yeah. It always is. Well, it correct. Is. In, corrected incorrectly, yes. Right, yes. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go. Let's see. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with um, like uh, the uh, Mickey Mouse ears. The Mickey ears? Yes, I'm going to go with the Mickey ears. $40 fucking ears you're talking about. I know. Mm -hmm. It's fucking stupid. Watch it, Get your name embroidered on the back of them? I don't give a fuck. It's so stupid. (laughs) Fucking Mickey ears. Get out of here with that bullshit. Especially if you don't get them at Disney parks. Yeah, yeah. you get them at uh, that one um, one, uh, fucking amusement park that we talked about. Can't remember it anymore. Yeah, that that one? Huh? You get it at Legoland. Not Legoland. No. Well, just use Legoland. Okay, Lego Move Land. the fucking bit along. Fine. Jesus okay. Christ. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Derek? We went from meh to uh. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. The, hey. gi- the giant obnoxious fucking fan that is a water bottle. Oh, that, yeah. That you fucking use once because it's hot as balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you're like, you're stuck carrying that fucking thing around all day. Yeah. Disney's really good about selling that to you. Yeah, I bought two of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeremy, you get two. Oh, me already? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and... Fuck. No, I'm going to save that for the last one. Okay. I am going to go with uh, any t-shirt that says, I went there and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, a bell. A bell? Yeah, gift shops. They always have a bell with like the logo of whatever place okay. that you've been. Okay. And it's fucking stupid because... Yeah. I don't. I don't use bells. I I have a phone now. Whenever I need to call attention to myself, right? I don't have servants. Okay, I should. I'm rich enough, but still, right? Uh, how about you, Derek? Mm. Oh boy, I'm fucking racking my brain here. Uh huh. Oh, this is gonna be so easy. No, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, I'm gonna go with because I don't drink coffee. Coffee mug. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a good one. That at that's, least has some use to it. You can put gin in it. Yeah, <laughs> you can. And juice. Yeah, gin and juice. Really, uh-huh. smoking Indo. Laid back. Yeah. <laughs> Sipping on gin and jizz. All right. My mind on my money. My money on my mind. Okay, uh, so because I'll, your uh, mind is now clear because you just filled that cup with jizz. Absolutely, jizz and juice. Mm-hmm. Okay. What kind of juice? What kind of jizz? Juice. Oh, juice. No, I know what kind of yeah. jizz. People oh, or yeah. horse, maybe. I don't know what you're doing for a living. Yeah, De- right. Depends on if I work that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a coffee mug is enough to hold a, a full load of horse. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with my first pick. I'm going to go with a postcard. Okay. Take a fucking it's picture. Like your, your fourth pick, Scotty. Yeah, I got one more. Okay. Um, God dang it. I got one that I don't. Son of a bitch. Oh, yes. But I like them. Uh, I, I saw one and I'm just like, yeah, but I fucking use it. But I'm going to go ahead and take it. Uh, everywhere you go, no matter where it is, you always, always, always have refrigerator magnets. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that. Where do you put those? On the fridge? Yeah. All right. Or somewhere metal. Like a fridge? Yeah. Anyway, last pick, Derek. I'm between like three. Okay. Oh, man. One of them I think is really good because it's just shit. (laughs) (laughs) 
I have to go with it, and I'm nobody's even really gonna know what it is, but those stupid folk arts things, like these artsy shits, the handcrafted, oh, fucking like shit, figurines. It's too hard to explain. Scratch that. Don't go with that one. Okay, it's too hard to explain. Uh, we're gonna go with the sand dollar. The sand. Oh <laughs> yeah, the painted sand dollar. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a good one. I had one of those. That was a magnet. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Last pick, Jer- Jeremy Joseph. He probably got that COVID vaccine. <laughs> yeah, so now it sticks to the fridge. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, your last pick there, Jeremy Joseph. Any plush toy with the name of the city, because you know that fucker was bought at the airport on the way home. <laughs> yeah, because they completely forgot about you until. Yep. They went to leave and went. Oh shit. I didn't buy him anything, and my whole thing is you don't have to. That's right. I got enough shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You got any honorable mentions, anybody? Uh, yeah. Most everything from a gift shop is shit. I, I co- overpriced shit. Like customized. Like I did the names on the magnets, but like other things, like a uh, fucking like uh, pocket knives are everywhere. License plates. Yeah. License Those plates. Are the yeah. Worst fuck too. yeah. The license plate magnets. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Any form of Christmas ornaments, just because I got plenty. I was gonna use that, but I was thinking that you were gonna take that as your last. I was pick. gonna no, go with that too. No. Yes, because that is totally I mean, something that you would take. For most people, though, that would be a good gift. For our house, got enough. <laughs> got it. Blank fan parking only signs. Yes. Oh, yeah, babe. Those are the... Don't call me babe. That's fucking creepy. Okay. <laughs> Those baby? are the worst. Yeah, yeah, baby or nothing. Okay, yeah. got it. It's daddy. <laughs> call it daddy. <laughs> or the little, the little tiny like ceramic of the monument that yeah. you went to see, like yeah. the little arch or the little... The little fucking maid of the mist or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Now, see, I do like to go to the gift shop and just look at that mm-hmm. and pretend like that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like if I was to go, I haven't been to the Statue of Liberty, but if I did, I'd go to the gift shop and just look at the little figurine and be like, it's not as big as I thought it would be. <laughs> Shit. I got two. Hats. I got, I got two. Two new ones. Yeah, trucker caps. Popped in my fucking yeah. head. First one picture frames yep yeah so you can take a picture with your significant other and put it in that fucking frame mm-hmm. next one was ashtrays like yeah. like fucking custom ashtrays that have where you went on it hats. the hats well, is what i was talking about that's the, yeah because yeah, i'm gonna wear a hat that says fucking niagara falls on it now yeah. now <laughs> now you can take up smoking yeah i do uh, smoke cigars my, didn't you fucking hear my drag queen story Lighters were on my yeah, list. Yeah, I heard you too. came lighters, out of the humidor. Yeah. yeah, lighters were on my list. They too. had like um, a Statue of Liberty lighters in New York City and shit. Like the one from Jungle to Jungle? I don't know. Yeah, the little, like it looks like the, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, they have, I've been to New York and they were selling them all over the I'm fucking sure. place. I'm now, sure. can I tell you one of the best, the probably the only good thing I ever bought at a uh, gift shop? Gift shop? Yeah. It was at the St. Louis Arch. Uh, the gift shop there, uh, they they were running three hours behind on the the little tram that goes up to the top by eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Holy they, shit! <clears throat> they open at eight, and three hours into the day, they're already three hours behind. Now I've never run a railroad of any kind, but I got to think you're not doing your job if that happens. But of course, they always say, "Well, while you wait, you can go to the gift shop." Now the St. Louis Arch is covered under the Missouri or no, it's under the federal wildlife and parks department. And so they had stuff in there that you could maybe buy at a gift shop from a national park. And one was a children's book called who pooped in the park. (laughs) And it's just different identifying different animal scat. (laughs) And I bought it. Of course you did. And you put that in the bathroom. And no, you can't borrow it. No, I keep that on the mantle. (laughs) All right. It's Uh, the third thickest book I've ever read. There you go. He's like, goose. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, I know that. (laughs) That's perfect. 
All right, guys. Well, you can go to Laughing on the Sidelines uh, podcast on Facebook uh, Wednesday, and uh, by the uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji, you can vote for whichever list you think has the dumbest souvenirs that you can buy at a gift shop. Jeremy's got this one. He sure does. That crushing fucking penny, fucking penny thing is that's money. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, no, did anybody take Nolan Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> a stuffed Nolan Ryan. Uh, is now, Dalvin Cook still available? Yeah. Now, shut up. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. You know, uh, in order to buy shit from gift shops, you need to go on a nice vacation. Who wouldn't love going to the islands like, say, the islands of Azores uh, just off the coast of Portugal? Uh, Well, you wouldn't have wanted to be there on January 1st, 1980, because that's when a 6.9 magnitude earthquake hit. Uh, primarily on the islands of Terceria and South George. Um, basically, this is a bad fucking earthquake. Uh, <laughs> they're not really, you know, there for uh, bad weather or set up to be have strong buildings. So uh, while most of the public buildings and churches did stay standing, it's estimated that nearly 70% of the houses on the two islands were completely destroyed. And uh, the devastation wound up claiming the lives of 61 people and seriously injuring 400 more while leaving 20,000 people homeless. And now your child can relive the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, just stay the fuck at home. (laughs) Aren't you glad you're not these fucking guys? (laughs) Yes. Yes, I'm definitely glad. All right, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather be in a fight club that meets once a month or be in a book club that meets every day? Oh. Bring on the fight club, baby. I'd love to see you get your ass kicked. Oh, I don't care. It'd be it'd so be worth it. Get my ass whooped once a fucking month? Are you kidding me? That That's easy. Instead of having to read every fucking day. He probably goes day. through it twice a day, so... Let's get, let's get Dave on the horn. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. I am definitely going club. Fight Club. Fuck the book club. I would have to join the book club to learn about how to read, how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting for dummies. Yeah. And I would read that every day <laughs> until I got good enough to get out of said book club and go fight. <laughs> So that is my answer. Okay. I am studying fighting. I will get my master's in fighting. Okay. And then I will never read again. 100%. I like it. I like that answer. How about you, Mr. Jeremy Joseph? There's nothing in the world more intolerably just pretentious than a book club. (laughs) (laughs) A bunch of middle-aged old bitches (laughs) who start a lot of their sentences with, well, Oprah says, <laughs> oh, yeah, these people who think they know literature uh-huh. and it's like 50 shades of gray. It's not <laughs> literature. You horny old bitch. <laughs> I say punch me in the fucking face and get it over with. I'm going to take the next 29 days to heal so we can do that all over again. I 100 percent. I would go nuts. I would be arrested for murder. And I just had two hours in a car with a 94-year-old woman. (laughs) (laughs) And even she thinks book clubs are bullshit. Yes. You know who doesn't think book clubs are bullshit? (laughs) My mother. My wife. Middle-aged woman named Karen loves a good book club. She's an English teacher too, right? Uh Uh-huh. Super pretentious. Oh, God. That's fucking awful. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode. I don't know if we got any other announcements at all coming up. Anything? Funniest person in Wichita, I think, is going on right now, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, tomorrow is the last 
qualifying day. Gotcha. Uh, Wednesday. I get your entry in, Scotty. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, you can get in there. Nope. Uh, Steve Peters, I think, is uh, is in it. Yeah, this, he's already yeah. qualified. He's, he's already qualified. Yeah, yep. He's already qualified, and yep. then he will probably miss the finals again for whatever reason. Whatever reason. Eric yeah. von Riker because he's doing in something it. related to real comedy. So uh-huh. Yeah, probably. Probably. Damn. Ouch. Yeah. Wow. Ouch. Ow. Ouch. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Ten minutes is all you can do. That's true. Anyways, um, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, continuing to share um, our TikToks, our content. Uh, love, whoops. Jesus uh, Christ. God damn it, the wow. manners, Scott. Oh, wow. That was actually, that, you texted the, me that. The fucking rudeness in that. You wouldn't last <laughs> two fucking seconds in the overhead door industry, my man. <laughs> You're right. I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, but anyways, yes, we, we do sincerely do appreciate it. Our show continues to grow, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun uh, continuing to grow, even if uh, Jeremy Joseph isn't on there every week. Right, Jeremy? I still got a couple of months. Okay, I'm, yeah, we got we got we got some time, guys. I still got a couple of months to develop some awful fucking disease that people think <laughs> I have. The doctor gave him two months to live with his ADD. That's, that's right. From a physical standpoint, I am the healthiest I've been in a decade. <laughs> uh, I know you look great. Really, he looks like shit. <laughs> I think something's wrong with him. <laughs> uh, but she got worms. <laughs> Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. ALS, yeah. Somebody yeah. thought I had that. They, they messaged did. me, yeah. Yep. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Appreciate it. And as always, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us... We hope you go to a nice dinner and enjoy some chicken fingers and French silk pie at a local Perkins. <laughs> and then on your way out, you decide to go to the wishing well and bam, snakes. <laughs> but not just any snake. The sneakly, sneaky, sneaky rattler oh. of Bald Knob, West Virginia. They're the rattlers that don't rattle. Oh, And yeah. you're done for. There you go. Uh, but yes, if you How don't... are they fucking rattlers? <laughs> They're clearly not rattlers. They're sneaky. <laughs> They're very sneaky. Okay, right. All right. But if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. I need about tree feeding. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Jeremy Strong. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.